All right, so you want to build your ideal private practice. What do you need to know? Well, this would be a guide for therapists and other healing professionals. You want to figure out what your areas of weakness are so that you can find team members who can help you with these areas and help educate you into strengthening these areas of the business aspects. A lot of clinicians don't really enjoy the business aspects. That's the finances. That's getting the business set up and running, the legal issues. So you're going to want to build a team that can help you excel in these areas. Next, you're going to want to write excellent website copy that communicates your strengths and what patients are going to love about seeing you. There's a lot of good templates out there that allow you to get your page up and running, and then you can focus over time on more content and continue to revise that depending on what's working for you and what are the most popular areas when you're looking at your analytics and Google Analytics. And then also just focus more on certain keywords to try to get your web page to become more popular in the areas that you want to focus on in terms of your specialty. To get more help, obviously, you need to have a lawyer, you need to have an accountant, and maybe you have a mentor. And beyond that, you can join Facebook groups for advice from other therapists or psychologists or psychiatrists, because a lot of people have encountered the same exact situation that you're in now and probably have a really good solution for it. So you can mine that brain hive by utilizing the search feature and look at what kind of posts have been posted for the last few years and take some of their advice. I actually didn't even know about Facebook groups until a couple years into my private practice. And I wish I had known about it earlier because it would have been so useful and helpful for me because I wasted a lot of time trying to figure out certain issues myself. And there was already an answer that was posted on the Facebook group somewhere. Also, you pay professional liability insurance companies for services and they probably have a lot of resources that you're not using. I would make an effort to go on their website, check out their resources and utilize them and use their CE or CME materials to grow and to understand how to handle particular situations. Not only your professional liability insurance company, but your EPLI company too. I'm sure they have a lot of resources and a newsletter that you can keep up to date with various types of issues. Lastly, in terms of timeline, I would prepare for slow growth, but if it's faster than that, then that's a nice added bonus. But if you prepare for slow growth and you accommodate for that, so that way you don't have to feel that there's a lot of pressure on you to grow, then you can build a practice that you really love rather than building it just for growth itself. So I always recommend to my students that they have another job part-time on the side for the first year. So that way they can get the practice up and running and there's no pressure on them to hire people they don't want to hire or go into certain fields or to make any sort of decisions that they don't want to make simply because they're under pressure. So to recap, find your areas of weakness and find a team that helps you fill in those gaps. And then secondly, write excellent website copy that appropriately communicates your strengths. Third, find a good team that supports you, and that includes joining Facebook groups. Fourth is utilizing any sort of insurance company that you already pay for, and their resources that they have available to you, most likely with no added cost on top of what you pay. And fifth, prepare for slow growth just in case, so that way it doesn't pressure you into making sort of decisions that you don't wanna make. Hope this video was helpful in helping you get off the ground and start your own private practice. My name is Bruce Bassey. I am an addiction psychiatrist and outpatient private practice, and I thoroughly enjoy helping other people get off the ground and find fulfillment in their own private practice. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks.